summer day here at the Prescott Speed Hill Climb in England's Cotswold Hills. This is surely one of the most pleasant places on earth to spend time watching classic cars. Whether you're catching the action or simply checking them out in detail as they sit on display in the paddock. This is the annual meeting organised by the E-Type Register of the Jaguar Drivers Club. And for the members, it's a very special day indeed. It's June 2011 and the club is celebrating the 50th anniversary of this British motoring legend. Jaguar is a name that first appeared on a car over 75 years ago, in 1935 to be exact. Up until 1946, what was to become the Jaguar company had traded as SS Cars and was a relatively small but very successful British company in the 1930s. It had begun business in the mid-1920s by making motorcycle sidecars and within 10 years made a respected name for itself by building stylish sporting saloon bodywork on cars from the standard motor company. Its founder and chief executive William Lyons had a flair for eye-catching design and his company soon progressed to building its own high-performance saloons as well as its first open sports car in 1935. For these new and faster models, a more evocative and exciting name was needed, and Jaguar was the one chosen. One of the most famous cars to bear the SS Jaguar badge in the 1930s was the Jaguar SS100, and as its name implied, it was the first car from the Jaguar factory to top 100 miles an hour. Prior to the arrival of the SS100 in 1936, the motive power for most SS models had been standard six-cylinder side valve engine. For the SS100, however, the company commissioned cylinder head design specialist Harry Westlake to work with SS chief engineer William Haynes to design and develop an overhead valve head for the standard engine block. The SS100 first appeared in 2.5 litre form, but only reached 95 miles an hour when tested by the leading motoring magazines of the day. 